Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Ali A. Today we're going to be talking about Call of Duty Ghosts and the idea of there being a high-end killstreak within multiplayer. We're going to be talking about some information that has been gathered regarding Call of Duty Ghosts campaign, which could hint and lead to information regarding a high-end streak within Ghosts multiplayer. This is very interesting, lots of information to cover. But before I cover that information, I want input from you guys in the comment section regarding the previous high-end streaks that we've seen within Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare Warfare 3, both of course being Infinity Ward games and Ghost being an Infinity Ward game as well, uh, suggesting that if they carry on the trend, hopefully there will be some sort of high-end streak within Ghost, but again I'll talk about that a little bit more in a second. I just want to gauge what you guys thought of a nuke within Modern Warfare 2, which is a 25 streak which ended the game and you won instantly when you called it in, and then the Moab within Modern Warfare 3, which is a 25 gun streak, which once you called it in didn't end the game, but it changed it, the actual gameplay, it made it a little bit yellow as if a nuke had gone off, your team had double XP, and the enemy team were emp for the rest of the game. So I wanted to know if you guys thought they were good streaks to have in the game, whether you would have rather have not had them, or if you'd preferred something similar to Black Ops 2, where if you go on a 30 gun streak, you simply get the nuclear symbol popping up on screen, but it doesn't actually affect the gameplay in any way at all. So let me know what you guys think of that in the comment section down below. So to start this all off, we're actually going to go back to the Call of Duty Ghost Reveal trailer, and have a look at the very, very start, where it looks like like missiles are coming from the sky, landing on Earth, and the following thing is said. It's been 10 years. So from that very short clip, we can see what looks like missiles coming from the sky, with the statement then said, it's been 10 years, referring to the missiles happening 10 years in the past, and then going to a scene and uh, several parts within the reveal trailer where there are broken down buildings as if there has been some sort of aftermath to these missiles going off. And linking in with what we've just seen, if we go to the Steam product listing page for Call of Duty Ghosts, it says the following. 10 years after a devastating mass event, the nation's borders and the balance of global power has been redrawn forever. So as it says, 10 years after a devastating mass event, linking back into what we've just seen within the reveal trailer, it looks as if a big mass event with these missiles coming down which caused a devastating mass event. But what are these missiles, where they come from? Well one theory circulating at the moment is that the missiles have been sent from a kinetic orbital bombardment device within the Earth's atmosphere, so kinetic referring to the physics term, uh, kinetic energy, not the kinect device you use on your Xbox, uh, but using kinetic energy because it's within the Earth's atmosphere it can target various um, positions on the Earth, cause devastating effects and uh, this is one of the possibilities and the reason it's been brought up is because it links back in to the teaser information we got on the Call of Duty site before Ghost was officially announced which mentioned the tungsten chemical and according to Wikipedia this device is described as an orbiting tungsten telephone pole and as you can see on screen here it holds many missiles and within the beginning of the teaser trailer we saw many missiles or what we believe to be many missiles coming from the skies. But how does this theory link back into a high kill streak within Ghost multiplayer? Well, if there's going to be some sort of missile device that can have devastating effect on the Earth, there's no reason why it can't be included within multiplayer as some sort of high kill streak device, renamed maybe to the Kinetic Strike or some sort of similar name, acting as a high kill streak within Ghost multiplayer. So this is very, very interesting. There's a possibility that there could be a high kill streak returning within Ghost multiplayer. At the moment all of this information has just been taken from little bits of sources and information. None of it is 100% confirmed or official yet but as we get more information I'll make sure you guys are fully informed. Let me know as I said in the comment section down below what you think of the inclusion of a high kill streak within Ghost would be like. Do you like the idea? Do you not like the idea? Do you think they should stay away from high kill streaks? Let me know nonetheless in the comment section down below but hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video if you've done so give it a thumbs up and if you haven't seen any of my recent videos including the new camos some live commentaries on, with the new camos some swarm gameplay and all that good stuff click the links on screen now and subscribe if you haven't done so already so thank you very much for watching guys i hope you've enjoyed and i'll see you guys within my next video